Cotton Moss claiming victory on X, saying the shareholders have voted by a wide margin to pass two resolutions. At stake is Elon Musk's pay package and moving Tesla's legal home from Delaware to Texas. Voting is still open, we should mention. Final tally expected later today. Meanwhile, Tesla bull Kathy Wood raising her price target on the company. ARK Invest 2029 projection for the stock is now $2,600 per share. And joining us right now, first on CNBC at the table, is Kathy Wood, CEO and CIO of ARK Invest. Good morning to you. Good morning, Andrew so, and Becky. Um, I very much want to talk about this price target, but I want to, I want to talk about this vote for just a moment. Yes. I know you supported uh, his, his compensation Absolutely. package. Did you expect, and look, things can still change, but it seems like some of the big institutional shareholders broke for Musk late last night. That seems to be what's happened. Retail seemed to have break, broke for him earlier than that. Yes. Yes. But were you expecting that? And what do you think, if in fact this is, this is the, the verdict, if you will, mm -hmm. or the vote, what do you expect is going to happen next? Because it doesn't seem like the game will be totally over. Because this is, of course, probably going to go back to court. Uh, well, first of all, you broke that news about the institutions. And, and I was surprised, actually, uh, and pleased. But I do think what has happened here, it really started with uh, ESG and all of the, the drama around that. Uh, and it got these large index players to say, wait a minute, should we, be, should we be voting all of these shares? We should be taking into account some of our clients' preferences. Right. And so I think it's, it's opened the topic up. It's healthy, I think, very healthy. So, um, yeah, but nonetheless, I was surprised. Do you anticipate that this becomes another years-long drama, given that this will go to court? Do you imagine the judge is going to look at this, this vote say that the process was fair. I mean, part of this whole situation, as she said, the original process was unfair. We've had some lawyers come on our air and say, even if they vote, in, even if shareholders vote in favor of this, a judge could still strike it down. You know, I, I am not a lawyer, uh, but I, under, I, I learned what was at stake, the lack of transparency about relationships with the board. Well, all of that has been completely right. exposed, and here we're having a vote, and uh, I think it's, it's uh, more overwhelming than I would have expected. So $2,600 a share. Yes. Help, help us do the math. How do you get there? What has to happen and for all of that? When do you get there? <laughs> this is a five-year uh, right. price target, uh, as all of ours are. And uh, what has to happen is uh, an autonomous taxi platform, Tesla's autonomous taxi platform. Uh, so robo-taxis, um, uh, which is a SaaS-like model. Instead right. of selling a car and maybe the software package, and that's it, uh, this becomes a recurring revenue model, a slice of every mile driven on that autonomous taxi network. Very high margins. Right, right now, uh, auto gross margins are around 16%. Uh, gross margins in the SaaS world are more like 80%. Right. How big a market does that have to become for Tesla to get to the $2,600 price? The reason I ask is there are some cities that, that may allow this to take place. There may be geofenced areas where people are going to do this. And there's also obviously a larger view that one day these cars will be able to do everything by themselves everywhere in the country. Yes. Well, this is the largest AI project on Earth, uh, uh, autonomous mobility broadly. And um, I think it's going to catch on as quickly as that. Now, of course, what we've had during the last uh, uh, 10 years right. is uh, a movement toward FSD. And now we're seeing safety statistics. And I remember Full self-driving for those uninitiated. Full, yeah, right. full self-driving. You, you look at the um, number of miles between accidents for the average car in the United States, it's about 200,000 miles. Right. Uh, you look at a Tesla without FSD, full self-driving, uh, just uh, autopilot, right. it's more like 600,000 miles. With Full self-driving and, and an older version, not even the right. latest, six, nine months ago, 3.2 million miles. Tasha Keeney has done this work. You know, Volvo built a brand on safety, and I think Tesla's going to use so, okay, but We're, and, and we're in the middle of taxes. 2024. Yep. You're saying we get to 2029. Yes. And that that's where that price is. I think what I'm asking is for your base case, for this to work, and by the way, we should say that Elon Musk tweeted out, uh, extremely challenging, yes. uh, but achievable, on top of your tweet. Yes. 
Um, when does this all have to really go into effect? Yes, we uh, believe that they're setting up for, for robo-taxis, the network, within, uh, I would say, a year and a half, two years. Hmm. Elon would say, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll start But it. that also requires regulators to sign yes. off on now, all this. Yes, now regulators uh, have an issue, and that is the uh, auto accident rate has gone, after decades of going down with auto safety measures, right. sharp, we talked sharp to increase, about right, this uh, 40, 40 to 50 percent. Yeah. Texting is a big part of it. You know, disproportionately young people. Right. So we, deaths in the U.S. have gone from the low 30s. Uh, I think they got into above 40,000. Uh, so I think the, the, the if, if uh, regulators understand, and they do, that 85% of all traffic accidents are caused by human error, if you take the human out, you're going to make the roads Kathy, safer. Kathy, we literally asked Pete Buttigieg, the department, uh, the secretary, tre uh, the treasury of transportation, yes. uh, the secretary of transportation Pete. yesterday, Pete no. Buttigieg, about this, and he did sound like he was open to the idea as a result. Yes. Um, and that's the first time I've really heard a public official who's kind of embraced it instead of saying, wait, 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 we don't like the rise of the machine. Absolutely. He is telegraphing that the roads ultimately are going to be much safer if you take the human being out of the equation. Much safer. All right, guys, this is the part of the video where I'm going to break down the stock that was mentioned in the CNBC clip. Today was obviously all about Tesla and their huge, massive new $2,600 price target. That's way over a 10x from where we are right now. That's a 10x from up here at 260. We're still way down here. Today and yesterday, we had some major, major shift change. If you saw my video a couple days ago breaking down Tesla, it was on this day and we had we closed red and broke this trend line. And I said, if this is going to be a fake out, shake out day, we are going to whip back towards 190, 200 and plus. And look at it now, completely rejecting going lower. That means all of these people that were shorting are now going to have to get out of their positions, which means buying shares plus the people that are going long buying shares. So we should have a lot of momentum to the upside with this fake out breakdown. Now, we did have a massive gap up overnight. We can zoom in just a little bit. We had a major gap up overnight because the pay package got announced and approved up over 6% from close to open this morning. Now we're starting to give a little bit of it back, but that's just because that's a huge gap. If we zoom back out to the one year, you can see this is the 45 day moving average. We held it super straight and had so much consolidation. This is so unheard of for Tesla for so long. And then we broke down, rejected going lower, and now we're blasting off to the upside. We still have that 200 day moving average coming in that could be a resistance. We also have a resistance at around $200, which is a psychological level. So just something to keep in mind. And then if we break past both of those, we have this red trend line that we've been respecting since 2022, which is a major, major rejection. Every single time we've touched it, we've come down massive amounts. So once we break out of that, it will be the start of a very big up cycle for Tesla. Let's go ahead and make every single bar one month. Look at this. Now let's just see, we're gonna keep dwarfing it. Where is 2600? Here it is. All right, so let's just give or take from here, from today to 2600. She's expecting this stock to move 1300% guys by 2029. That is 13 times your money if you would buy today. That is a massive, massive call. She backed it up with reasoning and numbers. It's gonna be a wild ride. I am a Tesla shareholder, so obviously I hope anything remotely close to that plays out. If you look at Tesla on the one month chart, you can see it is starting to look actually pretty bullish. This low is a lot higher than this low, so we have a higher low. We have a major rejection of going lower right here, and now we're starting to get a green month going back to the upside. So guys, if this does continue to play out and we kinda wrap around and keep going up, we will have a major double bottom on the monthly time frame, which will send us back to the 400s and higher. Just a little bit of my thoughts. As always, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and the breakdown. If you did, make sure and hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.